Uh, revolutionary greetings, everyone. Uh, my name is MVT Kanamba Chavalala. So I want us to do um, question one of this question paper that I compiled myself. So now I want us to do taxation. Eh? So they say Mr. Chavalala, a 73-year-old, earns a gross salary of 63,500 per month. So you should understand the definition of gross salary. And then they say that a nun takes a bull monthly deduction of 1% to UIF and 7.5% towards patient fund are made from his salary. Meaning Mr. Chabala contribute um, 1% to UIF and 7.5% uh, to patient fund monthly. And then now they say define the following terms. This is 1.1. And then 1.1.1 is gross salary. What is gross salary? Gross salary, I think it is a, uh, this is a salary before deduction. And then they say define the following term also anam. Anam is a period of 12 months and define tax. Tax is a compulsory payment by society to the government. Then, so those are just definitions you need to cram before you write your final exam. So now they say under which tax bracket does Mr. Chabala falls unto name. So now uh, we'll find that on 1.2.2 name. So we we'll calculate Mr. Chabala's monthly taxable income for nine marks. For nine marks, we have to calculate this uh, Mr. Chabala's monthly taxable income. They want it to be taxable income. So now. What is his monthly salary? His monthly salary is 63,500. So now you, you multiply by 12 months to make it annual. Ne? So you say 63,500 uh, multiply by 12, which will give you 762,000. So this is his annual income. Ne? So now, first thing first, when you are dealing with taxation, you minus the deduction. What are his deduction? He contribute one percent to UIF. So how do you minus? You say seven hundred and sixty-two thousand multiplied by one percent towards UIF. Okay, guys, let me do it like this. Ne? Mm. 762,000 multiplied by 1% towards UIF which will give you 7,000 okay 7,620 and then now this is his contribution of UIF but then remember there is also a patient fund there so 762,000 multiplied by how much does it contribute to how much percentage does it contribute to patient fund it's 7,5 percent meaning 762,000 762,000 multiplied by 7,5 percent which will give you a uh, 57 57,150 rands 57,150 rands so now you minus 762,000 minus UIF how much is UIF it's 7,620 and then how much is um, patient fund? It's 57,150. So this is how it goes. Uh, 762,000 minus 7,620 minus 57,150. It will give you a taxable income of... 697,220. So, guys, this is a taxable income. You do not take, um, 
This is the amount that you should text, take to your tax bracket. It's a taxable income. You do not take your annual income without minusing your uh, deductions. So after deductions, so that's where you will go and take your amount towards your tax brackets. So now you go to your tax rate with this amount of 697,208. So now you go to your tax rate, you check which bracket does it falls onto. It falls onto first bracket, no, second bracket, no, third bracket, no, fourth bracket, uh, no, fifth bracket, yes. Meaning 697,230 falls onto the fifth bracket, which answer you are 1.2.1. So now, we take our 697,280 to our brackets. This is our target. We take it here. So we we write it down like this. We copy everything which I have highlighted there. 163,035 plus 89 percent you copy everything of taxable of taxable income above 613600 and then now you say 163335 plus 89 percent of taxable income where there is of taxable income you open your bracket name and, and then what is your taxable income remember we have already calculated our taxable income after uh, minusing our deduction which is 697,208 and then minus you minus the given rate the given rate is 613,600 and then you close your brackets and then now you calculate you copy uh, the, the way it is plus 89 percent you first deal with the number inside your brackets what's the number inside your bracket you say six nine seven two three zero minus six one three six zero zero which will give you 836 okay it's 83630 83608 so now you you copy 163 335 plus uh, 39% so you say 39 over 100 39% is more like 31 over 100 you open your bracket you write this amount of uh, this one okay i don't want to do that you write this amount you write it here plus um, 83 and you open your bracket you say 39 percent you open your bracket 83630 you close your bracket and then it will give you this uh, figure of 32,000 uh, 32, and 70 cents so now you add your value you add 163,335 plus 32,605,70 which will be 195,950 and 70 cents so now you go again you say um, you go to your your description which says you are done with the contribution 
um, his spouse and his kids are in his medical aid credits, meaning you have to minus medical aid credit and also tax rebate. So, which tax rebate does Mr. Chabala fall onto? Mr. Chabala is 73 year old. He is 73 year old, meaning you have to go to your tax rebate and check where does where does Mr. Chabala falls onto? Is it first, secondary, or tertiary? So where does 73 year old falls onto? Yes, it falls onto uh, the second um, rebate. So now you minus primary and secondary and secondary rebate. And then What is your primary rebate? It's 15,714. And then what is your secondary rebate? It's 8,613. Which says uh, 171623 and 70 cent. Meaning, after they minus the tax rebate, he is left with 171623 and 70 cent. But then you are not done. Remember, his spouse and his two kids are in his medical aid. Van Lava, they are in his um, medical aid. His spouse and his two kids. So the main member contribute 320. The main member is obviously Mr. Chawalala. And then... Uh, and then the first dependent, the first dependent is the first person on the description. On this description is his spouse. And then which which makes this one to be the first dependent. He also con she also contribute same as his husband does. And then uh, it's 320 of the first dependent. And then each additional dependent, the additional dependent are the kids, two kids. Which means it's two of one hundred and ninety. One hundred and ninety plus one hundred and ninety. So this is their monthly contribution. Three twenty by two plus one ninety by two. It will give you one thousand and twenty rands. These are his monthly uh medical aid credits these are his monthly medical aid credits so you, you you simply say okay since they are in monthly you multiply them by 12 in order for you to make them annual so when you multiply them by 12 it will give you 12,240 rands so these are his annual takes up or annual uh, medical aid credits but guys remember you are not done you have to minus um you have to take this to here you take that um that figure there you say um one seventy one thousand six hundred and twenty three and seventy cent minus the medical aid credits which is twelve thousand two hundred and forty and then your your answer will be 159,383 and 70 cent so now this is his annual taxable income but remember what your question says calculate mr chawalala's monthly taxable income so this is in annual so now you should divide it into monthly. How do we divide it um, to be monthly? Uh, I'm using this thing doesn't have a division sign. So let me just put this line here. And then you say you divide by 12 months and then you will get your answer to be 
0.975 cent so you round it off to the nearest because this is money it's 13,281 rand and 98 cent meaning mr chabala's monthly taxable income is 13,281 and 98 cent so with that being said this is how we do taxation thank you i will see you on the next video thank you don't forget to subscribe like and share